Hello students, welcome back. Again, this is Teacher V and here is Science in Action Part 2. So today is July 15 and today is Thursday. All right, so this is Science Part 2. Okay, so now let's start. Again, remember this is uh, the same as the, what we have discussed last Monday about the plant stem. Last Monday, we discussed or we talk about the new vocabularies and we also check and look at the pictures and identify the pictures. Okay, so this time is the continuation of a, our topic, which is plant stem. Okay, here in plant stem, we are going to talk about the stem steam sizes and the steam characteristics yes we are going to talk about the steam sizes and the steam characteristics all right students so now let's go to the next page so this one is the sorry these are the vocabularies that we discussed last time student if you remember Yes, we already talked about all this vocabulary. But this time, we are going to talk about the sizes of their steam and their characteristics. Okay, first, let's have the steam sizes. Okay, remember, again, we have to talk about the steam sizes. Yes, so this is the steam sizes. Here in the steam sizes, Plant stems have different in characteristics. Again, plant stems have different in characteristics. All right, so look at this picture here. In, in the stem sizes, we have a small size and we also have a big size. All right, so we have a small and a big size of steam. Okay, so here in the small size, we have the water mimosa. The second one is the orchid. All right, again, small size of steam are water mimosa, and the second one is the orchid. Yes, very good, student. Next. We have the big size, okay, the big size. In the big size steam, or the big size are, these are the examples, mango tree and the tamarind tree. So they have a very big size of steam. Look at this, okay? These are the big size of steam. On the other hand, we, they have their small size of steam all right they have a very small size of steam okay students so now let's go to the next page this time we are going to talk about the steam characteristics so in the steam characteristics we have the um, this one look the southern langsat the stem of this southern langsat is a very straight or straight steam. Okay? When we say straight like this, straight. This one is not straight. Okay? Straight is this one. All right. So we have a straight, straight stem. Okay. So now let's have another one. This one in the marigold. The steam is bush, bush steam, bush steam. Yes, and the next one, the bitter cucumber, the steam is vine, vine steam, vine steam. That one is the bitter cucumber. Very good. And how about the pumpkin? 
the pumpkin stem is a very soft, soft stem lying on the ground. Soft stem is lying on the ground. Yes, very good. Soft stem is lying on the ground. Okay, that's it. So now let's have another one, students. The sugar cane. How about the sugar cane? The sugar cane, of course, have an internal stem. Yes, their stem is called the internal. Okay, again, southern langsat is straight stem. Marigold is a bash, bash stem. Bitter cucumber is vine stem. Pumpkin is soft stem lying on the ground. And the next one is sugar cane that is internode stem. All right. Okay. So look at this picture. We are going to identify their, what type of stem are they, they have and their characteristics and their sizes also. Okay, students. So now let's do some activities. Okay, go on. Here in this activity, you are going to choose this one. Okay, look at this picture. Go to page number 55 and then answer this one. Do you think that all plant stems have the same or different characteristics? If, do you, if you think that they have the same, so you have go, you're going to check this one. And if you think they are different, so you are going to choose and check this one yes okay students that's it so you have to answer this one on page number 55 and then let's go to the next page in this activity students look at this picture again the, this is the ivy gourd this is the tamarind this is a chinese rose a bamboo and a squash okay Let's read this word here. Straight stem. Soft stem lying on the ground. Soft stem lying on the ground. Brush stem. Internode stem. Vine stem. Okay, so here, number one, the instruction here is take the circle in front of the correct answer. Say, for example, number one, are all plants have the same stem? Again, are all plants have the same stem? So if your answer is yes, then pick yes. And if your answer is no, then take no. All right, and you are going to answer this one here. You say, for example, number two. Okay, we're done with number one and number two. What is the characteristic of ivy cord steam? This is the ivy cord. Okay, student, you are going to find what characteristics. So this here will above students are the names or the characteristics okay so you are going to choose all of this say for example number two what is the characteristic of ivy gourd stem ivy gourd street stem bush stem vine stem soft stem lying on the ground and then internode steam. All right. So, say for example, if your answer is a, a street steam, so you are going to check this one. Okay. So, if you can't remember, student, just go back here. Yeah. Just go back all of this and then identify and look at this steam here. This is characteristic. Okay. We have the characteristic and the sizes. So go back there so you can see. See, for example, 
Street steam, bush steam, vine steam, soft steam lying on the ground, internode steam. So you are going to identify an answer number two and look at IV ground. What type or characteristics is it? Is or is IV gourd steam? Okay, students, that's it. So you have to answer also in number three. Just check your the circle. Um to this one. We have number four. We have number five, number six, number seven. You have go, you are going to identify or what type of uh, characteristic is the Chinese rose, the bamboo steam, the squash steam, and according to the activity, what can be summarized? Again, student, go if to answer this question, just go back here. Okay, and then look at properly the what characteristic or type of uh, steams are they. And then you can answer number two, one, two, three, until seven. That's it, students. So I hope you understand our lesson. Again, my name is Teacher V. Have a good day, student. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.